Today I will show you how you can resize and process large amounts of files in Photoshop really quickly. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Did you ever been in a situation that you have a large amount of RAW files or high res JPEG files and you want to resize them, to process them, to send them directly to web or maybe to a client for a proof or some selection? And of course, you don't want to waste your time to resize them manually because if you have 2000 files, for example, that will take forever. And today I will show you two common ways how you can resize them really quickly automatically in Photoshop and do with the rest of time whatever you want. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Really guys, if you want any of those two methods to work, so you need to have all your files that you want to process or resize in the same folder. So I have all my files in a folder large, that's the photos large, and I will just first load any of those files in Photoshop. Let's use the first one and let me see. Let's move it right here. Right, and now first method includes creating an action that will resize this file and that action we will apply to all other files in that folder and it will, uh, that action will automatically resize all files for you. So let's do it. Let's go to action here and create a new set of action. Let's change the name, set the name to resize. Okay and press OK and then inside this folder, inside this set, I will create a new action and I will name it maybe 1024, that will be the longest side of the image, 1024 pixels and I will press record and from now on everything what I do to this image will be recorded in this action. So what I want to do here, I want only to resize the image. Of course, I can do whatever I want, I can maybe turn this image into black and white and then resize it and I can apply that same effect to all other images in the folder. But let's just resize it for now. Let's go to image, image size, and from this dimensions, let's resize it to 1024, the longest side, and press OK. And now, as you can see, the file is much smaller. Now we need to save it. Let's go to File, Save As, and just save it wherever you want. You can save it wherever you want, it doesn't matter only thing that is matter here is to open that save dialog box and to choose the save settings and everything else you will choose later the destination everything but i will save i will save it for example on desktop let's go to this pc desktop and just press save and this dialog box is important because any settings you make here any uh, file qual size quality uh, that will be applied to all our images in the folder. So I will use 8, 8 is pretty good for this example and I will press OK and that's it. Now we don't need to stop the action and we are ready for our batch resizing. So how to do that? Let's just close this because I will not need, I will not need that elephant. Let's go to File, Automate and Batch and this is our dialog box. Right, first we need to set to choose the action. I will choose this resize action then under the resize we will choose one and only that we made 1024, okay? And now we need to choose a source folder. So the source folder will be this large where I have all other images, select that. And this you don't need to check. I like to check the suppress file open di options dialogs and suppress color profile warnings because I don't want those warnings. And now let's go to destination. We can choose non save and close and folder. I like folder and my destination folder will be Let's choose and let's create a new folder, naming 1024, press OK, select folder and that's it. That's all you need to do. If you want to rename your files or to add something else to your files, date, year, etc., you can do by clicking here and it will add to the file name that. But I don't want to do this. You just need to press OK and now Photoshop will do everything automatically for you. So, we are done, that's it. If you have 2000 photos, it will take a while, maybe a few minutes, you can go make a coffee or tea and come back, everything will be done. But this is really fast, really easy, and it will save a ton of time for you. So let's go to that folder. This is large, as you can see, if I open this, those are really large files, right? And if I go back to my photos and 1024 and open them, you can see they're all small size. Right guys, that's just one way how you can batch process your images. 
but what about if you want to turn them all into black and white and make them smaller or if you want to sharpen them or if you want to change the color before you make them smaller well let me show you how you can do that Right, let's first open one image in Photoshop. Let's use this one, for example, and make it smaller, move it right here. And for this to work, you need to create a new action. So I will choose this same action set resize and I will create a new action, name it black and white because I want to convert all images into black and white and make them smaller. So I will press record and everything from now on will be recorded. What I want to do here is to add a new adjustment layer, black and white, or you can go image adjustment and just turn it black and white, but I like this way. And you can change those settings, but I just want to turn them into black and white, nothing else. So I will just go to my action. And before I press stop, I need to do everything like I did in the first step. I need to make it smaller and save it anywhere and then press stop. So I will go to image, image size and I want to make that same 1024 for example press ok and just go to file save as and save it anywhere as a JPEG quality let's save it in the same folder here quality will be just rename it put something else like this and quality will be 8 again all right and press ok and now I need to press stop and I can close this all right I don't want to save it so now I can go to my file automate batch and choose another uh, action in the same set I want to make them black and white right I have same folder same destination same everything I will just press ok and enjoy a few seconds and you will see in a moment that all those photos let's go to photos 1024 all those folders are black and white and small so that's great right guys you can use those steps to create basically any kind of action that you want maybe you want to create a sharpening action to sharpen all your images or you want to change the color of your images maybe to add a watermark to your images all you need is to record your steps just for one image and then apply it as a batch to all other images and now we'll show you another method how you can do exactly the same steps but maybe the second method is a little bit more convenient you will decide it so let's do it right guys for this second method to works we actually don't need to open any file inside photoshop we just need to run that script and enjoy so let's do it let's go to file scripts and go to image processor and this is all we need we have four different steps, one, two, three, four, and all we need is to follow those steps. So first step uh, is to select this, uh, the source folder where our files are. With that addition that we have another bonus option here and that is include all subfolders, which is great because if we have a lot of subfolders and we want to include all of them in our batch process, we can do this here. Because I don't have them, I will not check this. So I will choose my folder which is large all right and we can open first image to apply settings but I will not do that because I don't have raw files and now I can go to second step select location to save processed images so I will set another folder I will go to photos and I will create a new folder this time 2048 I love that size too so I will select this folder and then let's go to third, third step we can choose save as JPEG, save as PSD or save as TIFF. So I will just choose save as JPEG. Maybe I will choose quality 10. We can convert uh, profile to as sRGB automatically if they're in some other profiles and we want to send them uh, for web. Then we need to convert profile to sRGB. All right. And now we need to choose width and height. So for width, I will leave 2048 and for height I believe 2048 this doesn't mean that it will resize our photo to a square it actually means that uh, if the photo is in landscape then uh, the longest side will be shrink to 2048 pixels if the photo is in portrait mode portrait or orientation then the longest size the height will be shrink to 2048 pixels so that's it and we have a fourth step if we want to run an action with this resizing script. So what does it mean? It means that if I click run action, I can choose any of those actions. For example, this dreamy look that I have as an action and I can apply any kind of look with resizing. So that's 
In my opinion, it's a little bit better because you can create an action that doesn't include resizing inside that action. You can just create an action to cre uh, to transfer to to convert your images into black and white, or to change a color, or to do whatever else you want. And you can use that action later in your regular retouching. But if you want to use it while you're resizing your images, you can add it as addition. So that's great. I will not use any kind of action right now. I will just run this and wait for a few seconds for Photoshop to resize all of those photos. And then that's it. I will go to my folder 2048 and the Photoshop will automatically add another folder inside that because we choose the JPEG. It will say JPEG. So I will go inside and here I have smaller version. They are big because they are 10, uh, 2048. But if I hover the mouse here, you can see the dimension is 2048 on the longer side. So that's great. Right guys, and that's it. Those are two methods how you can batch process and resize a large amount of files in Photoshop and save a ton of time for anything that you want. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. And if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. And if you appreciate this one, press that like button because you will help the channel. It will actually matter. See you guys in the next fun episode. Bye bye.